Okay, I'm back <clears throat> and this is dry. And I'm just thinking that I might want to put in some color book page uh, image on this. Um, I keep my color book pages. These are Bennett Klein freebies and from the digital PDFs that I have painted. Um, and I'm just looking through them, thinking some might be fun to put in. And these are colored in all kinds of different mediums, uh, from watercolors to uh, alcohol paints to, or alcohol pens to uh, pencils and stuff. And this is actually one I've made myself, drawn myself. But this one might be good. I'm just looking to see about the size it would be. And I like this. I think this will be the one I will put into this. And this is on heavy cardstock, so it's going to be a bit harder to glue down. But it also gives me an idea of what I want to, the text I want to put on this. And uh, this is made with colored, no, this is just alcohol markers. So it's pro markers and uh, some Spectrum NAR and some off brand markers that I've used to do this. So this was a quick one. So I'm going to cut this out and I'll be back. Okay, <clears throat> so I'm back. I've cut this out. It took me about 15 minutes or something. Now I'm just going to use my Ranger matte medium that I never use for some reason to stick this thing down. So I'm putting uh, medium on the back of the paper, especially this since it's so thick with a lot of like small thin pieces. I want to make sure I get the complete little thing. And I left the painted shadow I had on this um, underneath the mouse here. And I think I'm gonna stick it a bit to the side and down. So I can fit some text underneath it. Now I'm just putting a coat of matte medium on top of it. Stick it down properly. making sure I have matte medium under all the edges. Like so. And that is pretty cool, I think. Let's see what you see. Like that. Zoom it in a bit. That does look pretty okay, doesn't it? Okay, so now I'm gonna have to let this dry again. So see you in okay, a bit. Okay, so I'm back and this is mostly dry. Uh, and I thought I would use the Tim Holtz stamps, uh, the cling foam stamps, block upper case for some of the wording I want to put on this. So I'm just using this gridded block 
uh, to space out my words. Something like that. So I'm just going to take some of my black paint here and drag it out. I think I got it. Baby wipes. It's probably a bit too much paint. It's the first time I'm using these ones properly. I just actually stamped them out, or not even stamped them out, but categorized cat, put them in my catalog, uh, and sorted them on this on the, their sheet so I haven't played with these too much yet Just trying to make sure I keep them a bit clean so I don't, don't ruin them the first thing I do. <clears throat> okay, next word. And I'm just cleaning them off as I go, since I don't want to keep track of which letters I'm going to use again and which I'm not. Uh, I really like these stamps. I like the font and everything on them. <coughs> and I will probably be getting uh, some more different ones. Let's take the clip away. And I find that they stamp. Um, pretty well. And as you can see, and I'm using paint, uh, and they are pretty sharp. And um, anyways, the first one is totally mine fault since I used too much paint
Okay, need to spread out some more paint because that one didn't stamp well at all. Okay, you're gonna see my head now. Oh, sorry, bumped it. since I made it a bit wet. Okay. Get some new paint. Okay, you're gonna get my head again. I'm gonna need some more paint and I'm just putting a really thin layer down last word okay clean off these stamps and they take up surprisingly a super big amount of paint these little foam letters uh, and I've stamped them with ink and they work great with that too okay. Just giving them a final wipe down and I'm just gonna restamp those that um, exclamation mark that didn't stamp well. I'm thinking I didn't get very much paint on it for some reason. There we go. And you can probably see, or you have probably figured out what I was writing now. Don't let your fears control you. And I thought this picture represents that really well. Since it's a little mouse or rat carrying a dragon's head that he, what it seems like, killed himself. Which is kind of cool. I think. So I'm wiping my block off like so. And heat gun. Like so. Okay. Final step on this art journal page is going to be my Posca pen. Just to give these letters some more definition and I'm writing it's like giving them a shadow I am uh, outlining them on the left side and on the bottom um, so everything that is to the left of the letter and everything that has a bottom on the letter This is a trick I've been doing since I was a kid, giving things outlines and stuff to make them um, pop a bit more. 
and like on this one there's dark colors and black on it as well i think i'm gonna move these because i'm gonna stick my arm on it oh. and i do it differently sometimes i do the top sometimes i do the right and the bottom it just depends on my mood that particular day but all of a sudden you can actually read this with a bit of ease and it's not you don't have to like struggle with trying to figure out what it actually says uh, it's pretty uh, easy to understand even even though uh, there are it is stamped over black parts and stuff evidently i have trouble talking when i'm outlining <laughs> I evidently need a lot of concentration to follow lines. And you see, I'm not doing this like super, uh, like exact. I'm just, ah. Some lines are a bit more squiggly, especially since there's a bit of texture underneath here. Uh, And the pen tends to jump on those, so... And it doesn't matter to me. And I'm gonna sign this. Like so. Let's see. And this is done. And I'm really happy with it. Uh, I told you I was going to do a wash over the background to tone it down a bit. But as I was working with it, and this happens a lot with me, I seldom have a plan. Uh, I can have some sort of idea of what kind of colors I want to work with, or if I want to work with stencils or decoupage or something. Uh, but once I got the background done i loved it i loved it so much that i didn't want to change it so i went with a softer picture to put on it instead uh, and almost make this uh, or make this stick out by being so much softer than the intensity of the background and that's it uh, i hope you got inspired and i hope you have an awesome day and i'll see you in the next video bye